guys and welcome back to I Love You. Today I just want to talk about a few of the places that we went while we were on vacation. We were down in Madeira Beach, Florida for the past two weeks. Um, we went to quite a few different places to eat. As, as if you've watched either of my two previous videos, you would see we also did some cooking in our condo. But I just want to highlight some of the fantastic places that we went to eat where the food was just very good. I will add some pictures in so you guys can see what it was that we had while we were there. All right, and let's get right. started. So we are going to specifically start with places that we had dinner that we enjoyed. The first of which was Spinner's Rooftop Revolving Bistro. It was very cool. It's a unique experience to begin with before you even get to the food. Um, the entire restaurant seating area actually revolves while you're eating. So from the time you sit down to the time you're getting up to leave, you've moved just over 360 degrees. So you've made a full complete rotation around and it has a great view of the water or if you're there at nighttime, the sunset would be very cool from that location as well. There was a, a slightly different menu, I believe, because we were there for Christmas dinner. Um, there were drinks available, special drinks for that night. Um, and we had prime rib. And a couple of people in our family also had, I believe, shrimp scampi or some sort of fish dish. I wasn't paying too much attention to what they had. Um, but the prime rib was absolutely delicious. It was cooked perfectly, served with the au jus and the salad actually that came right before the meal actually got there was very good. It, it had mandarin oranges and cranberries and it was just a very Floridian salad and it was delicious. The prime rib again was absolutely fantastic and you can't beat the view, it was beautiful. So then next up we had Sea Hags Bar and Grill which was a good location for dinner as well. It has a beautiful view of the harbor that it's on Sunset views, again, beautiful behind the ships that are there. Um, the dinner is good. They have large portions for a slightly more inexpensive budget. They have one of the biggest things that my family goes for is the shrimp or clam strip buckets. It's uh, an actual bucket with fried shrimp or fly, fried clams. It's usually a, a fried seafood of some sort. And french fries and coleslaw. Again, very inexpensive and very good. When we were there, I actually went with a cheeseburger. Living right out on the edge there. But they had an option to have a side of mango, I believe it was mango pineapple salsa which I added to the cheeseburger and it was absolutely wonderful. The salsa was amazing, um, but we've never had a bad meal there. We love it. We go usually a couple times while we're down, um, but again, it's a very good, very enjoyable experience. Next up for dinner was Whiskey Joe's Bar and Grill. Another very good place to go. We went, we had a loaded, waffle fry nachos. It actually had pork, pulled pork, and barbecue sauce, and it, on top of these fries, it was a very, very good. Um, everybody had something a little bit different. We had, there were some shrimp that some people had. My father often goes for shrimp and grits, which is his option that he went with. Um, we had a friend of the family there with us. She had a coconut rum chicken. She said it was amazing. It was very, very good. 
I went with a pulled pork sandwich. It's I know it's a safe choice, but down south, you know, they're usually very, very good. There's just something about southern pork. Just tastes amazing. But there it was on a very soft bun. The bun was delicious. And there was so much pulled pork on the sandwich itself. And the barbecue sauce was not too acidic. It was very, very good. The whole thing was just amazing. And everybody loved everything they got. Um, then moving on to the next one was Gators Cafe. We went to as a lunch location. It We had a little bit of everything. Some people had um, more of an appetizer size option. One thing we do always get there, we got daiquiris, which you know, in Florida, you're on vacation, why not? But my father got a plate of nachos. He thought that it was going to be perfect size for him to eat himself. And as I will insert a picture here-ish, it was so big. He actually, we actually had to share it amongst all of us that were there. But again, he was so excited at how big it was. It was something unique. It was a very good, um, the chili was a little spicy, but that's something you like in a nacho. You don't want it to be blah. So it was very good. Um, but everything that everybody had there was very, very good. I had quesadillas, um, not necessarily the first thing you'd pick off the menu, which is why I chose it, but it was very good. Um, again, this is a collection of places that we enjoyed everything that we ate, so. Next up was a place that we went to for dinner after we went to the Sunken Gardens. It was a unique place. My dad was researching, trying to find some place to go, and. We didn't really want to go to one of the chain restaurants that's in the area because there are many chain restaurants. So we decided to go to Three Birds Tavern, which we walked in and you can smell everything that they're cooking in the kitchen as you're walking up to the front door, which was amazing. It makes you very excited for what you're about to go into. Um, we all had burgers of some sort. And you had the option of regular french fries or um, sweet potato fries. Those, the sweet potato fries actually came with cinnamon butter and a little bit of maple syrup drizzled over them. And it was just a very, very good. Everybody loved it. And even the staff was amazing. Um, I will definitely be going back next time we're down there. Cannot wait. It was very very good we then another place that we had gone for dinner while we were down there was i may not pronounce this totally right but hofbra house in st petersburg it was it's a very german restaurant that's the whole theme german food german atmosphere they had live performers downstairs in the bar area because there were so many of us, we got sat up above the bar area in, essentially, I think where you, they probably seat larger groups of people. But it was very cool to look down and watch the people playing the spoons and the person with the big long horn, like in the, the Ricola commercials. <laughs> um, but anyway, so the food was amazing. There's everything from steak or pork or even chicken to the sausages, because it's obviously German sausage and sauerkraut and those type of things. Um, everybody got something a little bit different. My, the other two women in the family got, I believe, fish. No different place. There they got pork roast and 
loved it. My father and my grandfather both got sausages, loved them. They were very, very good. Um, then I got a, some sort of a steak. I don't remember exactly what it was called. I will have a, have it written on the picture at the end here, but that was very, very good. And one of the best things that they had was the red cabbage, I believe it was, or purple cabbage. But it, it was just, everything was so good. We even, there we actually went and we had dessert. And we got one of everything that they had. There was an apple strudel, um, a chocolate cake. And we got also a cheesecake. And I don't think we got the fourth thing on the menu, but three out of four we did and split everything between us and everybody loved everything. It was just so good. Um, definitely will go back again. Loved it. Cannot wait to go back. Um, even if just for the atmosphere, everything was amazing. All right, so then the last place, the last major place that I want to touch on was actually a place that we went for breakfast. Um, it's called Shrimpy Blues Bistro. It's not necessarily a place that you think of for breakfast because it is a bar atmosphere looking place but we went in and they have a whole breakfast menu um they have breakfast quesadillas and omelets and eggs and all that normal type of things but they also if you are there for breakfast between 9 and 10 and you get you order an actual drink like coffee or juice or something like that other than water then they were, at the time we were there, I don't know if this will continue or be a constant thing, but they did uh, a free beignet if you ordered a drink. And believe me, their beignets are amazing. You're not gonna want just that one. You're gonna wanna order your own order of them to go with your breakfast. So good. Everybody had something different. We went there a few times. Uh, everybody got something different every time we were there. And Everything was very, very good. Um, definitely will go back there again as well, but it was all very good. Uh, the last thing I want to touch on was the more chain restaurants that we went to while we were down there. It's, um, everything is good, but it is still a chain restaurant. So a lot of people don't like to go to the chain restaurants and things, but we did make a stop to Krispy Kreme Donuts for fresh hot donuts because why not? And we went to one of our favorite places is Steak and Shake while we're down there. It, I mean, it's burgers and chicken and fries. Favorite thing on the menu is the cheese fries because there's really nothing better than hot cheese on french fries. And milkshakes are very good as well. But again, it is a fast food place. And I know a lot of people, you don't like necessarily to go on vacation and go to the fast food places. You want to go to something more, a little smaller. Um, and that's fine too. But we like to do a, a mix of different places. We also went to Bubba Gump's, which very good. They ask you trivia on Forrest Gump while you're waiting for your food to get there, which is very cool. It's, a, it's just a unique experience. If Even if you're not overly excited about the menu, then it's totally worth going just for the experience at one point. It was very cool. Um, we got jambalaya, which was very, very spicy, but definitely worth it. It was good. But other than that, we had a few nights we cooked in, as you will see in my previous two videos, which I will link down below as well, for you to go back and watch and see what we did in our condo. Um, and I believe that's all there was to that. I will put names and addresses of all of the restaurants that we went to, um, contact, all that. So that if you are down there and you want to go 
to any of these places and experience them for yourselves, then you have all of their information right there available to you. All right, and I guess that that is it, and we will see you again in our next video.